Hey, this is Chris J. Ross with BCSurf.com, and we are checking out the new Firewire lineup for 2012. With this board today, this one is the Activator from Firewire. This board is kind of an updated version of the Dominator, so it tweaks out some new performance characteristics that really, really amp this board up. Dominator is one of my personal favorites, especially in the conditions that we have. I love the blend of paddling power, wave catching ability, and performance, and this one just amps that up to the next level. With this one, we have the familiar Dominator profile, especially through the nose. It's a little bit wider, with a little bit thicker foil through the nose, and that helps, especially when you're paddling into waves. You'll be able to catch smaller, little mushier waves, get into them early, and really start that shred nice and early. The rocker's also pretty low, but just enough that it will fit into some little bit more powerful waves. Through the middle section, you do have a pretty nice wide set to the board, which will really, really help in those mushier sections. When you're flying around that, it won't bog out as much, but continue that speed. Through most of the board, you also have a single concave to really help that water flow straight through. Really helps to generate speed, especially matched up with the quad setup. So mushy waves, totally rocks it. And even in the bigger ways, you'll have to get more speed for more maneuvers and more maneuverability. The biggest changes with this board come in the tail section. Instead of that wide, fat thumb tail from the Dominator, we've moved into a double wing swallow. The main thing this, is, this will do is to really thin this board out and give you a good pivot point. Matched up with a swallow tail, you really have a solid pivoting board that's a little bit more responsive than the old Dominator. If you like going top to bottom a little bit more or just really want to crank out the turns, definitely worth a shot to check out. They've kept the five fin setup, so you have a lot of versatility, a lot of choices to customize your ride depending on your conditions and your riding style. I usually use the quad setup on boards like this one, especially my Dominator, almost always use it since it maximizes the speed that I'm getting out of every pump and it helps me keep that maneuverability rolling. If you have a little bit better day, try that try option out as it'll help you go top to bottom and really make those turns and cars really flow through to each other. Or try the five fin option and get kind of weird out there. You never know, it might work for you. With this board, it's really set up as a small wave shredder. You can really get into waves early, paddle around the lineup fast, catch those kind of constantly moving beach breaks out there. Definitely worth checking out if you like the old Dominator but want to crank some performance, or if you're looking for a board that can handle weak conditions but still maintains full short board performance. We're going to be checking out some volumes, some dimensions, and technologies the board's available in, so make sure to check those out. Hit us in the comments if you have any questions, and we'll help you choose the right board for you.